What is the strong nuclear force? If we could magnify the simplest hydrogen atom to the size of the Earth, then the nucleus would be about the size of a basketball. It would be at the very center of the Earth, and that lonely electron would be found somewhere out in Earth's atmosphere. All of the space in between the electron and the basketball-sized nucleus would be empty. If the electromagnetic attraction between protons in the basketball at the center of the Earth and the electrons as far out as the atmosphere keep an atom together, what could possibly keep the mutually repulsive protons together in an area as relatively small as a basketball? Something awfully strong. That awfully strong force is known as the strong nuclear force, the strongest fundamental force in the universe. It is 137 times stronger than the electromagnetic force, 1 million times stronger than the weak force, and 6 sextilliard times as strong as the force of gravity. A sextilliard, in case this is a new number for you, which it is to me, is 10 to the 39th power. What you might notice from this chart, though, is that whereas some forces work over an infinite amount of distance, Though both the electromagnetic and gravitational forces drop off as a function of distance squared, the strong nuclear force only works across a range of 10 to the negative 15 meters, which is about the diameter of a medium-sized nucleus. So let's define the strong nuclear force as a force which holds the protons and neutrons together in the nucleus. Imagine the strong nuclear force being like a balloon holding its watery contents inside. Over short distances, such as the diameter of a medium-sized nucleus, the strong force overcomes the electromagnetic repulsion of the protons and holds the nucleus intact. Analogously, small nuclei, just like small water balloons, stay intact. The strong force, the balloon, overpowers the nuclear electromagnetic repulsion, the water inside. The strong force does not have a large enough range, however, to overcome the electromagnetic repulsion in larger nuclei. Similarly, a large overfilled water balloon may explode due to the bulkiness and weight of its watery contents. This is why large atoms are radioactive, unstable. As a result, these unstable atoms give off products to become stable. This giving off of products to help unstable nuclei become stable is known as radioactivity or radioactive decay. Elements with atomic numbers greater than 83, because of their size, are naturally radioactive. The nuclei of these atoms contain at least 84 protons and 84 neutrons. That's 168 particles. They're like a large water balloon. Therefore, these larger nuclei decay to more stable, smaller nuclei with smaller diameters over which the strong nuclear force can extend.